Yeah, that actually happened today, Mordecai. That's how this chat originally started. Um, I had a talk with uh, the BHI group, and I was basically just giving them some intellect on what it means to be a luckily Jewish and what what that what that really means, and going through some of the concerns and conversations that they had and questions they've had uh, in that chat, and then that conversation led to a lot of rebuttal and argumentative situation happened in this chat, which was called the Mari Part Two. And it was being said that we should we should take away his conversion. He's not really he's not Jewish. All these things happen. So I had to jump on this chat to just clarify what was being what the misconceptions were. And that's how this whole conversation started. Now it's a different title. Um, Jews talking guest speaker. But before it was Amari part two. And it was basically stemmed from a group that took my conversation from the from the BHI and Amari Stoudemire conversation to a sidebar conversation and it was basically everyone bashing me throwing me under the bus calling me all kind of names so i had to jump on this chat to try to clarify what was being what was the, what, the, what what the misconceptions were and there were definitely uh, um accusations that wasn't accurate that were being said and so yeah it's a tough space to be in mordecai and i'm you know it's, um it's very uncomfortable for me to be in this space all I'm trying to do is help clarify and trying to kill anti-Semitic slurs. I'm trying to destroy that whole notion. I'm trying to give people kizuk. I'm trying to help the world become. I'm trying to. I'm trying to technically do to kun olam, and it's not working out because any small nuance can be taken out of proportion, making assumptions, and it becomes something something else. But yeah, Shafa, do you understand that the, the the fear that Jews have with BHI is not that they consider themselves and think they're jewish that's it's rather they they call us frauds yeah. they literally they say they say right 100 percent. it's very scary the radicals there's a lot of radical situations happening there's a lot of finger pointing it's very dangerous uh, but i feel like it's important to try to help clarify because if we keep turning our back and not discussing topics or giving them an understanding of what it means to be jewish then they will never understand it and they will always have an assumption. It's like people looking at TV all the time and looking at Israel and they say, oh, well, Israel is just a bunch of war and this, that, and the third. I'm like, no, it's not that, guys. Don't believe everything you see. But if they don't, if we don't talk to them and say, hey, this is what Judaism is all about, this, this is where we hold, this is the importance of it, this is how you carry yourself, then that will help people understand what it means to be Jewish, opposed to turning our back on them and no one's explaining to them what it means the communication without communication there's no way to rectify a situation you know what i'm saying so i'm just you know that's the whole point but i totally understand your point aquarius where you know it can be very 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 scary because there's a lot of rhetoric out there there's a lot of finger pointing and, and like the brother was saying earlier i forget his name i think his name was uh i forgot his name but he was saying it's hard to really it's like community because it's, they're hard-headed and they don't want to listen but for me kind of being in the position i'm in I'm just trying to help somewhat help that and calm that down. Do you think that uh, part wait, of one second, one second, one second, Chris, hold up a second. Yeah. Okay, hold up a second, really quick. Yeah. So, Yehoshua, I, I, I think it's great that, um, you know, people have conversations and explain uh, to anybody, right, who doesn't know, uh, like, you know, what does it mean to be a Jew? What does it mean to be Jewish? I think I, I don't I don't have any issue with that um, whatsoever. Um, I do think it's a problem, right, when um, you know, as part of that conversation, there is an embracing of so-called Hebrew Israelite mythology, which is bullshit. It's a lie. It's made up. Okay. And I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pull my punches here. I'm just going to be really direct with you. I don't care if you've been in the NBA. I don't care if people on the stage who were critical two hours ago, uh, are now kissing your ass. I, I don't really care. Right. Dude, this um, is uncalled for. I, and I'm, and no, I'm I'm just being I'm just being open about like, I don't know the thing I have an issue with. What's a lie? I'm trying to figure out. I I, I want to be direct about this, right? So, like the the issue, right? The issue is if, as part of speaking with and speaking on Judaism and Jews and our history, if you do embrace, if you believe this idea, right, that the vast majority or a large percentage of Black Americans are in fact Israelites, right? Um, that's a lie. It's false. It's just made up bullshit that was invented by Cherry and Crowd. Let me finish. Let me finish. 
Let me let me finish. Let me finish. Go ahead. Go ahead. It was it was, in, it, was in, it was invented. It was invented by Cherry and Crowder in the 1800s. There's a similar bullshit mythology movement. The British Hebrew Israelites, right? British Hebrew Israelism. Um, and what's really crazy is that for the prior years, right? None of you know. Now I'm not saying that you didn't have a small number of people who came from the Ebo who had Jewish traditions, some of whom ended up on slave ships and survived. I'm not saying that. And by the way, just as background, I'm a massive supporter of Ethiopian Jews. I, I support um, uh, Ashagar Araro. I support a bunch of causes uh, for Ethiopian Jews. I have zero issues when it comes to having black Jews. I try to advance black Jews in positions of leadership and in the American Jewish community. So I'm not coming from any of that. But my issue is, how how is it suddenly that people who up until the late 1800s, early 1900s, didn't speak Hebrew, didn't have a Jewish tradition, uh, like did not have any of these types of things, wake up one day and say, hey, we're the Israelites. Now, half of them or some significant portion believe in Jesus, okay? So there's like this whole section which is all into Jesus. The other half is not. And suddenly they claim to have Hebrew Israelite lineage. And there is no evidence to that. But you have many other peoples who are Jews spread and scattered throughout the world, right, who underwent terrible things, whose families, you know, uh, underwent, uh, you know, uh, uh, sexual attack, uh, whose families were scattered, who were taken as slaves. Um, but those groups of Jews retained Hebrew. Uh, many, some re retained Aramaic. You prove them up. They retained, Gabriel, one second, let me finish, let me finish. No, no, I, I get it. And let me finish. I'm going to finish, okay? Uh, retained their traditions and knew who they are. And then when you add modern technology and you start providing, you start doing DNA tests on people from that part of Africa, you also, so A, there's a group of people who never said they're Jews, have never been Jews, like the vast majority. I'm not saying there weren't a handful, there weren't a few hundred. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying the vast majority. And then you do DNA tests and you find out, nope, nope, there, there's, no, there's no Jewish ancestry for the vast majority of the Igbo population. And then you speak to like 90 plus percent of Igbo. And they are also like, no, no, we are not Hebrew Israelites. So this, my issue isn't with anyone converting. My issue isn't with anyone being black and being Jewish. God forbid, of course, there's no issue there. It's not with like, is it possible to be a Jew and you know, come from somewhere in the black in the African continent. Of course, there's no issue there. Nothing. My issue is suddenly having you know a huge percentage of the black American population be told, "Hey, you're Hebrew Israelites. This is a myth. There's no there's no evidence of this." Gabriel. Okay. Gabriel, All can right. I just add one thing to your comment? Sorry. Because no, I want to hear you, your Hoshevat. Uh, yeah, really. Uh, well, okay. Uh, I was going to say you proved my point here because. You're saying that all oh, these Jewish nations went to these lands and they kept their language, they kept these things. But the Torah specifically says that you will be taken to a land and you will have no more remembrance. So the ones who don't have the remembrance are the ones who have the identical connection with the Torah. The ones who do remember, okay, great. That's beautiful. That's awesome. But it also states that you will have no more remembrance. And then we dive in three times a day to connect all the tribes all the tribes from the four corners of the earth to come back to Israel, like to get back into the halakha. And then we think about, we think about, we think about the people who are lost out of all, out of all the people in God's humanity right now, God, on God's green earth, who are the people that are lost? But yet we dive in three times a day to bring back the lost. And then you have these lost people saying that, hey, we have a connection with B'nai Israel, we 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 could be possibly be a part of the lost tribes of Israel, and then we're praying for the lost and to bring the lost back. But yet you're saying it's all a lie. Like 
And what happens if this is true? What happens if these people are B'nai Israel and you're turning your back on them by not helping them? That's more of a problem than anything. So I guess, uh, I guess, you know, we, we, we could say, what if there are lots and lots of other people all around the world, right? In fact, we, we know, so for a while, people were claiming that the Georgian people, the Republic of Georgia, they were Jews. For a while, people were claiming that um, in India, the, uh, the, um, uh, the, the, they have this terrible caste system and that like the poorest and the, the caste that was most like, uh, you know, lowest in the, their caste Dali. system was supposed Dali. to be Jews. Yeah, yeah. So there have been a lot of groups of people who have claimed, actually, sometimes it's oppressors who claim that uh, the people they despise are Jews because Jews were associated with like negative things around the world. And sometimes it's oppressed people who identify with the, the Jewish story of liberation and survival. And, and but th this is a very common thing. This is for like 2000 plus years. There have been people saying, we're the Jews, they're the Jews, we're the Jews, but without, I don't know. I don't without know. any other I don't know what the Torah says. I, I, I'm just going off what the Torah says and what it says. There's, there's a total of 12 tribes. So the Jews, we can be spread out all over the four corners of the earth. There's Jews everywhere. Yes, there and there's are. A mixed multi, and there's a mixed multitude. There's been interracial marriages and so forth and so on, which is beautiful. It's fine. But we can't we cannot denote the fact that there is and could be a very true connection with the children with the children of Israel and Ooh. the transatlantic slave trade. Okay. That's all I'm okay. saying. I, I, listen, I hear you, and I, I don't look. I don't think you're ill motivated by this at all. I don't. I don't think you have any ill intentions, and I like your intentions when you try to bridge gaps. I think it's awesome, but the thing that is very painful, right, to my friends who are Ebo, right, um, to uh, Sugar Belly on this app, and uh, the uh, the uh, uh, the antisocial social club that she runs for Ebo, and like that's like. I've talked to probably 90 Ebo people on this app alone in the past like six months. And each of them is like this group of people, right? The, the so-called Hebrew Israelites are um, absconding with an identity that is not theirs. They are erasing our Ebo indigenous identity. And they're trying to say that we Ebo are this other also ancient indigenous group of people who are actually younger than we are. And it's deeply offensive to the Ebo. Well, who do you so... Can y'all read Genesis 49 then? But no, no, but he he okay, so Yashafat said in the beginning, um, if you want to be Jewish, you have to convert, which we all right. agree upon. And then he said, if you want to um if you want to open the Torah uh, the, uh, the book of the Torah and learn, that's the choice you have, and we all agree with that too. I really don't understand how we we got it all the way to where we, it is he, where this conversation is because what he said was clear and this is something not only I understand because I understand the halakha behind the orthodox point of view on this and I do believe his message and Mordechai's message was what many of us also agree with in the orthodox community um, where I don't get a threatened when someone says you're not Jewish to be honest with you I was born in Syria. I, I was on the seventh day of Passover in, in 1992. I was freed out of Syria. I was hostage. Uh, the Jewish community was hostage there. And um, it's not, that doesn't make, that still doesn't uh, make me not uh, care about people calling me not Jewish. It's the fact that I wake up in the morning and I pray and I go to net prayer and then I go to work and then I learn and then I go to work. And then in the middle of my day of my work, I go, I pray again. And then at night, once before I come home, I go again, pray. That's what I know, what nobody could take away from me. What I, my mitzvot, what I do, my, the way I treat, how I treat people around me, how I, how I am with my children, how I pass over the, the what Purim, what we just had, the celebration, the understanding. Nobody could take that away from me as much as they could try. This is something that I'm not only going to enjoy today, I'm going to enjoy for eternity. And these are things that I, pe I want people to understand. That whatever you do with any accomplishment, any mitzvah, it's small or big, nobody in this world, and not even in the next world, could take that away from you. And that's what I want people to hear today, especially on a Shushan Purim.
So to, to Gabriel's point about there being no evidence um, for this whole Black Hebrew Israelite movement, um, what's interesting is that the the early founders of this in the late 19th century didn't even claim that there was any evidence. It's not even based on evidence. Both of them, Cherry and Crowdy, claimed that they had revelations from God that told them that the African Americans were descendants. So it wasn't based on remembrance of uh, traditions or any any type of historical evidence or any other type of evidence. It's just a claim based on a personal revelation. And since then, they, they've acquired a lot of followers. Well, let's let's be clear. Let's just be clear. He was a preacher before he was like a Hebrew Israelite. He, he spent a lot of time in a lot of different cities uh, during the Reconstruction period and after trying to learn his trade, and he just hit up on something. Wentworth Arthur Miller is another one of the uh, figures in the early part of that movement, and he was a boxer. And he tried like a lot of different things, and then one day he found like uh, something with some Hebrew written on it. He just called himself a rabbi. Yeah, this, I want to respond to Gabriel's statement just really quickly. So this is be clear. The Hebrew Israelites do not hold that they have anything to do with the Igbo people, right? We are speaking okay. from our rabbis that we hold by here in Israel. They gave the ruling on the Igbo people. Now, the Igbo people, they're historians, Remy, all these different people write books. And I think Yermiahu, who's on this app, can speak on this because he's very much involved in this project that uh, Rudy's doing on these tribes in Africa. But the, 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 the narrative of the Jews that there were Igbos who came to North America, that is the Igbos outlook. This is not a Hebrew Israelites. We only holding by the Torah. All right. So what the Hebrew Israelites say and they do whatever, of course, it's a doctrine. It's weird. It, it, it's not like the, I think somebody said a lot of uh, do believe in Christianity, but uh, but the or, or the Jesus component of it. But the point is, is saying that our engagement with them is what what Jehoshaphat was saying, which is answering question and defusing tropes. Right. In these different types of things. And, it, and it's a learning process because these people have a doctrine. It's organized. It's it's an attack base, you know, theological like outlook on the tour and this whole thing. And that's fine. But our issue is, is making the world better, keeping the world safer for the world, but also the Jewish community. So us engaging and embracing some of these a aspects that, hey, you know what, we I could go to a BHI guy and say, hey, you know what, you are connected you probably are connected to, you know, some of the lost tribes. And this is how we understand wait, it wait, in wait, Judaism. Wait, 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 You said you, you could go to a, a, a Hebrew Israelite and say, oh, you probably are connected. Do you believe that? No, Do you what, believe? What I, no, wait, listen, listen to what I'm saying, right? So we're clear. I can go to a Hebrew Israelite who has his doctrine, right? That he's the only person, that they are the only people who are Jewish and everyone else is fake. That's their belief system. I can go to them and say, hey, you know what? And our Jewish Masura these are all the different places that we believe tribes came from, right? So there is a chance, like myself, me, myself, Mordecai, in the person I'm talking to, there's a chance that our DNA, like, for example, my parents did their DNA. They're very much into it. It's like a whole thing for them. My mom's origins were from Israel. Then from Israel, they went to Yemen. From Yemen, they went to up to Saudi Arabia. And from Saudi Arabia, they went into Africa. Now, what were the conditions, why it happened, this, this whole thing? Now, 2013, we're just black folk in North America, right? So my point is the same, that us going and being able to talk about the halakhic understanding of these issues as it relates to black people, to a person who's a Hebrew Israelite, it debunks yeah, 90%. No, no. I, I, don't, I don't have any issue with that. More, more to high. I definitely, like, anybody can talk to anybody about anything. I hear you loud and clear. I am with you on that. I think the big thing, and I want to go to Fleming in, in just one second. The big thing that really jumped out at me, I'd love to hear Yehoshaphat just, like, explain that to me, is, like, I, I, I just... Like I literally, and, and I was only partially paying attention for a second, but like, I, I heard you say that, um, you know, you said that I proved his, your point, right? That, um, Jews who dispersed and who do remember their traditions don't fit the curses, which is kind I've of. I've never said that. Like saying. I've never said well, that again, that, bro. Okay. So did I, did I misunderstand? Yes. Once again, this is the whole reason why this chat started because you also misquoted me in the previous chat. You guys no, started I, I, this, I, no, just you guys, clear, I didn't you guys started no, well, this hold, private hold, 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 chat. Hold, hold, I didn't misquote you at all. I didn't start the well, prior group, room. Kaba, I didn't Kaba, I didn't I don't wait, hold, Kaba, no, hold, up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I didn't start another room. 
I never start any well, of these. No, you know what I'm saying. I also no hold up. I also didn't quote you about any chats. I never even okay. spoke about. The okay, okay, you guys, you guys had a private chat outside of my first conversation. Yeah, yeah, I take responsibility no, no, no. for on. that. That hold wasn't. Hold on, I, I didn't okay. say anything about any chats about you. Okay. Chat. I'm just saying you was a part of the chat. I get it. All right, it's all no, good. No, I I was not. Uh, he wasn't. He wasn't. No, okay. I was, no, no, right. Yehoshua, just just to be really clear, I heard about some room you had been in. Uh, a room was started by Chava and a couple other people. I joined them. I was listening. And then later, this room started, and I was part of it in the beginning. Then I, well, I so fell you asleep. So was a part of the I chat. Okay, got it. So let's yeah, not yeah. let's not go back and forth with this. You were right, a part right. of the chat. Well, you were part of both I, of those I, chats. I, okay. I, I, All right. So what I'm saying, I guess what I'm saying to you is that, I, again, I'm being misquoted. I did not say that they don't have any identity toward uh, the children of Israel. I said it's great that they are, that they remembered that they, you know, the, the language and these things. That's great. There's the total of 12 tribes. But the, but my point was the Torah specifically says that these people will be lost. They will have no more remembrance. So therefore, there is a certain tribe that we're taking to a place and lost complete remembrance. That's what I'm saying, Gabriel. So please don't misquote me. Well, well, I'm saying saying not of the exclusion that's why I asked you. That's why I asked you the Jews, question because I want to make sure I understood you correctly. Yeah, and and, and you know it it wasn't a misquote. I mean, it was actually stated that um, it was said to would be said to black he Hebrew Israelites that you probably are you probably do have a connection, and I'm I'm glad that was retracted because there's no basis, no reason at all to think that you probably do have a connection. So and and so you Euro know, Euro, right. my question to you is. When the yeah. Torah says you will be taken to a land by way of slave ships, you will have no more remembrance. Is that not a connection to a people? Like if someone's trying to find their identity and they read the Torah and say, wait, this sounds like me. Is that not a connection? No, because there's no way to know which of those people would be those people and other people. It doesn't exclude other people from being slaves and taking. Well, what, what is, what no, is no, the no, 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 no. I guess, I guess what I'm saying is, I guess what I'm saying is, if you can name to me, which Gabriel haven't told name yet, if you can name to me another group of people that were taken by way of slave trade. To a, to a place you're that missing, you're missing what I'm saying. Yeah, I was no, I'm just about to ask. I, well, I'm trying to explain to you mathematically why it doesn't make sense what you're saying. If it were true that this were black people that were taken on, uh, that were Jews that were black that were taken on slaves to another place, it doesn't mean that there were that there couldn't also be other blacks who aren't Jews that were also taken on. I agree with that. Right. So then there's no way to know what percentage of those people are Jews. There's no reason I to agree believe with that. or think, well, that's what I'm saying. So it's not, it's not, it would be inappropriate to say you probably have a connection. There's that's no probably, way to, meaning you're, you're saying no, the same thing. You're saying chance. that there's no, there's, there's no difference between saying there's a chance. Anybody on the planet, there could be a chance that they are related to the ancient Israelites. No, you're not listening. I, 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 think, I think you're confusing yourself because no. you're saying you're saying that because you're saying that there isn't a you, 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 there there could be people that were taken on that slave trade that may not be from the Judean regions, but there are also some that probably were. Right, right. The right. fact, so that, the ones, the, the so fact the, that there was okay. probably some is right. different from saying that that if you are one of those people that you probably have a connection. No, there's no Wait, basis. There's for a massive difference. Yeah. Well, you're saying if there's probably some, right. And then you're say, also saying that there's no, that then there's probably none. I don't understand no, what you're saying. No, you're, you're misunderstanding what I'm saying. I'm okay. saying there's a difference between probably some and then saying anyone who, who is a descendant of a slave is probably connected to Israel. No. It's not Wait, true. I don't get follow. it. Wait, I, I mean, I, me. how difficult it, is it for you to not get? Hold like, on a second. Don't be so rude. Hold up. No. Hold up. 